Hello. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the Garden District, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programmes out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why don't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming. Uncle Jack's He's coming. coming. Uncle Jack's coming. That's the spirit. Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. Uncle Jack's coming. She's the murderer. What a very well made safe.
A good riddance to bad fish. <laughs> I'm calling the authorities. It's her. What was that? She's the murderer. These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Everyone knows you can eat weeds. Everyone knows you can eat weeds, and who hasn't eaten a yummy dandelion? Remember, all of these plants are edible. All right.
Watch your fancy. Sally Boyle! I hope you find me Uncle Jack record. Me boy has been pestering me. I have indeed. Your Brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. Some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't over water, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. I appreciate your custom. I hope to see you again soon. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. Gwen's got something to eat, at least. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now?
Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The lad is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lad is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Oh, my nose needs a bath. Jesus, it smells like burning chemicals. Oh, shit. <gasps> Where's the fire extinguisher? Christ almighty. Jeez. There's no... Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Oh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. I should be teaching you things instead of telling you my troubles, shouldn't I? Who else do I have to talk to? 
And you never call me a stupid girl. Promise me you'll never talk about yourself the way mommy does, okay? The thing is, even when you don't have a choice, they'll still blame you for it. Of all the this rotten things I've done, kite. the thing the Arthur hated me the most for, the I didn't even have a choice about. The Sounds like some sort of secret message. When you think about it, Guinevere is really a sort of an awful name. I mean, look what she did to Arthur. Miss Boyle, you know there's a curfew. You don't want some Fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle, I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. Cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? Up 
And mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Beaten by a girl. Beaker, a thermostat, N7 triode. I think I can fix my lab. All off.
Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. And hungry, too. Of course you are. You're a girl. We're supposed to walk around in tiny skirts all winter, not eat the food that's put in front of us. And the other girls say, aren't you cold? And you are. But they don't mean it. They're just jealous of your legs. And don't get me started about heels. Oh, look. Now I've made you cry. <laughs> 